Hey, I'm working on a project where I'm adding some ambient lighting in a room and I'm considering to use this tape light kit here, actually three of them. The room, in the room, it's, uh, I've got three runs of the tape light that I'm going to put in the crown molding. Two of the runs are 13 feet and the third run is 17 feet. And that presents a little bit of an issue because the, uh, the length of the tape in the kit is 16 feet. So I'm going to be adding one extra foot to one of these runs and the other two I'm going to be shortening and uh by three feet so i want to um i want to check and make sure that i uh that i won't be exceeding the rated output of the power supply and so what i'm going to do is hook one of these up and measure the current that is required under full load and then i'm going to add an extra couple feet of load to, to it and see how much and measure the current and see if and make sure that i'm not approaching anywhere near the rated output of the um, power supply. And the other thing I'm going to confirm is uh, my plan is to, on all three of these supplies, they each come with a power supply. I want to control all three power supplies with one dimmer. So the dimmer will be controlling the AC voltage that's applied to the power supply. And I want to confirm and check to make sure that all three supplies or all three light systems will respond equally to the same voltage and what I, I want to make sure that um, they they uh, track correctly in the, you know it, with the dimmer I don't want one or two of the strings of light to be different than the other I want them all to be have the same light output and so I'm going to check that out too while I uh, have it on the bench and then I'll know how to proceed in the project because there is another option I can buy a longer tape in a different kit cost a lot more and I can also buy one power supply that's uh, capable of powering the entire string but that's also again very expensive and so I'm hoping to just use what's locally available and easy to to um, to get without having to order anything so I'm gonna get started on that and do some testing and confirm these things before I proceed with the project so we'll get started on it right now So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, hook one of these up and get a baseline reading of what the uh, what the current load what the load is as it comes from the factory here. Let's see now. Oh good, it's already, it's already hooked up. So I can quickly plug it in and test it. You know, I don't want to leave it running long uh, because uh, it could overheat. They're all these are all concentrated on a roll, so I don't want to run it for a really long time. But I but I do see that it works and it gets pretty bright. So what I'm going to do now is. Uh, take this cover off it's just two Phillips screws these are number twos number two Phillips and uh, this cover comes off here too that's when you want to hardwire in the uh, the power supply I'm probably going to have mine uh, on my project I'm going to have it go into a, a quad you know four receptacles and um, so I can just unplug these like in case one of them has a problem or something so they've got the uh, these are heat, these is heat shrink there keep it pretty tight I'm just going to add a wire here into that positive terminal so I can put my uh, amp meter in series with this and get a measurement. And so it is, uh, shows gray and white. Let me zoom in just a touch here so you can see it better. So they have gray is negative and white is positive. Of course, I'm uh, like an idiot. I got the, the black wire, but it doesn't matter. It's just the color of a wire for testing. So I'm going to tie this gray in here. Let's 
Now I just need to put a um, amp meter in series with this here. Got one right here. See this uh, power supply is rated for 1.25 amps maximum. So I'm going to plug into my 10 amp uh, probe here. And I don't think it'll be near that, but, um, and I don't really care about the polarity. If this is an analog meter, I'd be concerned about making sure I don't hook it up backwards, but in this case I'm not that worried about it. It'll just show a negative or a positive. Okay, so I've got the uh, complete circuit is, uh, is made now, so when I turn the uh, dimmer here on, it should come on, and it does. And at the lowest setting, I'm getting uh, 50 milliamps, looks like. At the highest setting, well, that's close. 1.16 amps at the highest setting. So it is fairly close. 1.25 is the max. And I'm uh, getting on close to it. And so what I want to do now is add another uh, run here. ways I can do it. I can't just plug in here and tie on there or unroll that all the way and splice onto the end. And I think I'm just going to tie on here because uh, I don't want to unroll that and uh, disturb it. So I've got this connector here that I can use to uh, hook onto here. This is where it's been cut. And so this is like a, a clamshell kind of connector. You just open it up and it exposes the um, little terminals there. And uh, all you do, this has a, it also says ground and plus 24. I'll zoom in so you can see that. There you can see uh, ground and 24. It's so all you do is uh, slide this into there. There's a there's a slot in there. I guess uh, before you do that, you have to peel back the tape. We got the tape peeled back. Now it'll go in the slot. And I want it to go under those terminals. Just like that. And then I can click this. So she's clicked. So now I can uh, just connect this right onto the other power supply. So I'm going to strip these wires back. And of course that's uh, gray is the negative. And I think what I can do here is just uh, connect both of these together. This reminds me of the old model rocket days where I used to um, shoot model rockets with this little, you'd clip that onto the nichrome wire. Okay, so now I've got, I just need to uh, 
Yeah, that's going to be tricky. I think I'm going to have to uh, put this one in. Just uh, this is just for a real quick measurement. Of course, I would not. This is not how I would terminate it for real. It's just a real quick current measurement here. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. To tell you the truth, it actually uh, got a lot closer to the rated output than I was expecting. All right, she's connected up. So now I've got both rolls here. And this is a lot more than I'm going to be adding. But let's just see what happens now. Yeah, I can already see at the lowest, it's already at... Uh, or else about 60 milliamps. So I'll go on up real briefly. Oh. Okay, it actually shuts down the, uh, it gets beyond the uh, rated capacity of the transformer. The transformer shuts down. So it's going, it's protecting itself. You see that? interesting so I am definitely I'm glad I checked this out because uh, I can see that I'm going to have to buy a, a larger LED driver 